pockets. <laughs> they say Irish people are great storytellers, you know, that old cliche. But I love, I've loved story in every, in every form since I was a kid. You know, originally books, and then I got involved in theater, and then, and then film and television. But for me, it's always been the emotion of the story. The emotion is the thing that is key for me. If, 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 if I don't feel altered by it, by the story, then it hasn't worked for me as a performer and as a viewer. I, need, I like people to go to the theater and come out feeling winded and emotionally shattered. That's my preference, you know, that you do feel completely altered by what you've seen and you're so immersed in the story and the truth of the story and the truth of the performance. That to me is, is real storytelling. Yeah, well, it's all about the live performance thing. You sort of sign this contract with the audience. They're in this room with you. And for me, was it because I, because I, because I am a failed musician <laughs> that I, I, I ended up in theatre and by accident. But it was the live element of it, that kind of electricity in the room that you get with an audience. Um, I was trying to replicate, you know, that kind of rock and roll energy in a theatre. I think for myself originally. We've all had that experience, I hope, uh, as youngsters growing up, where we saw one movie or listened to one album or read one book that totally changed you and moved you to a point where you felt that person is speaking exactly to me. And if I could be involved in one of those, then I'm happy.